Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about the CRISP-DM methodology. But even before I proceed to tell you what is CRISP-DM methodology, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Let's begin with CRISP-DM methodology. What exactly do we mean by CRISP-DM methodology? CRISP-DM stands for cross-industry standard process for data mining. This is a process framework which allows you to do analysis in a step-by-step -step way. If you're a beginner in the field of data science, it's always difficult to figure out where do you begin a data science project, how do you proceed, and then how do you end with a data science project? What are the few steps that you need to take to begin a data science project. There are a lot of things that you would have heard like missing value analysis, cleaning the data, straight liners, outliers, lemmatization, tokenization, vectorization, then building a model, assessing the accuracy of the model, deployment. Where do, where do each of these things fit in when you're executing a real-time project? This is where CRISPDM methodology steps in and it lays out a blueprint which can be followed by anybody in six phases. This is a very, very systematic, very scientific way in which you can approach a data science project. So this holds good irrespective of whether you're from genetics, microbiology, or from market research organization, or you're building a project in telecom, you can go ahead and use the CRISPDM methodology. There are six different phases in a CRISPDM methodology beginning with business understanding. The very first phase of CRISPR methodology is to understand the business. Once you are through with this step, phase two involves data understanding. Phase three involves data preparation. Then we move on to phase four, which involves modeling. Phase five involves evaluation of the model that you've built. And finally, you end the data science project by deploying the model in a production environment. So six CRISPDM methodology says that there are six different phases when you are building a data science project, beginning with business understanding, then data understanding, further you look at data prep and modeling. Finally, you, you end with evaluation and deployment. Let us look at each of these phases in depth. The first phase is business understanding. What exactly do we mean by business understanding? As the name itself suggests, in this stage, the data scientist makes an effort to understand the business problem. Each business is very, very different and the problems that emerge in an area would be very, very different. Here, we understand the business and formulate the business objectives. The business objective should be very, very crisp, simple, and easy to understand. Let's take a simple example of campaign response. Suppose you are in the marketing team and you are launching a campaign. You are interested in knowing who are the customers who would respond to a mailing campaign. Historically, you might have seen that when you roll out a marketing campaign, the response rate might be very, very low. The yield may be very low. The mailing expenditure may be very, very high. So in this situation, what would be your business objective? The business objective, firstly, would be to increase the response rate, and secondly, to decrease the mailing expenditure. So with these two objectives, we proceed to the next stage, which is basically data understanding. There are several activities that we do to understand the data. Firstly, once we prepare the base data, we try to describe the data using descriptive statistics. Further, we go on to perform what is called as EDA or exploratory data analysis. This involves a lot of graphs, visualization and such things which we use to pull out the story behind the data. We end this stage by preparing what is called as a DQ report or a data quality report. Now, what is a DQ report? A DQ report simply talks about the health of the data. It tells me how many missing values are there, 
how many outliers are there, whether there are straight liners in the data set or not, are there extreme cases in the data set or not. So the data understanding begins with preparation of the base data. We proceed to perform EDA and finally we end up with a DQ report. What is phase three? Phase three involves data preparation. How do you prepare the data? You can prepare the data through selection of the data. Finally, you can also clean the data in this particular stage. When I say clean the data, in case there are data points which are missing or there are outliers, you can use missing value imputation or you can use box plot to understand about outliers, clean the data and make sure that your data is free from noise. Once the data is prepared, you are good to go as far as building the model is concerned. I'm sure that most of you have heard of linear regression or a decision tree or a neural network model. All these are typical statistical models that we build to understand patterns in the historical data. Once we build the model, any model works very well on pen and paper. But the problem comes when you implement it in a real-time scenario. When you implement a model in a real-time scenario, many times you see the performance of the model goes down. This is where it becomes very, very important for us to build a model which is highly robust as well as accurate. Now the question is, how do you assess whether the model is robust as well as accurate? This is where there are several KPIs we use to evaluate the model that you've built. You can, you, you can use KPIs like R square or adjusted R square, sometimes mean absolute error or mean absolute percentage error, or you can also use certain other metrics like accuracy measures or precision recall F1 score to evaluate the quality of the model. Once you evaluate the quality of the model, the last stage is about deployment of the model. I repeat, the last stage is about the deployment of the model. In this stage, once we are very, very sure that the model performs well, we develop a scoring code and put this in the production environment. In the production environment, the marketing team would use this month on month to score the customers and find out their propensity to respond. So this is how a crisp DM methodology lays out a blueprint through which step by step and very systematically you can execute a data science project. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. I thank you very much for watching this video. My request to subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day.